Hello. Welcome back uh, to your next leak code question. Make sum divisible by p. This one took me many tries, so don't be worried if you don't understand immediately. Given an array of positive integers nums, remove the smallest subarray, possibly empty, such that, such that the sum of the remaining elements is divisible by p. It is not allowed to remove the whole array. Turn the length of the small subarray that you need to remove, or minus one if it's impossible. The subarray is defined as a contiguous block of elements in the array. Yeah, so immediately I kind of thought, um, well, let's take another example, this, this example. They want me to sum it up and remove a subarray. Well, what's the sum here? It would be 7 plus 3, so 10. And they want to remove some subarray, such the sum of that subarray, subtracted from this sum, will give me a number that's divisible by p. Uh, well, p in this case is 6. So if I remove 4, that will give me 6. Well, I could remove this 4 here, or I could remove this subarray here to get a sum of 6. Which one should I remove? Well, they want the smallest subarray, so I would remove this one. This subarray consisting of just one. Also, you're not allowed to remove the whole array. So if there's no answer, then we have to turn minus one. But uh, they could make it so that there is always an answer. That is, we could just remove the entire array because zero is divisible by anything. So we have to remove the. We have to find this four here. Well, okay. Uh, so I thought maybe we could, you know, take ten uh, divided by p, which is six. That will give us one point something, but it's an integer division that will give us one. Then I could take the one and I multiply that by p, which in this case is six, which is which will give me six. Then I could take, you know, what the total sum is minus what my previous answer was, and that will give me four. So this will give me the smallest difference I have to subtract from the total sum to give me a number that is divisible by p. But if it's not possible to get six, for example, we could just subtract any potential multiple of p from the total and it would also be a valid answer. It will just give us a larger subarray. So we don't know this x factor here and that makes it kind of different. So that's the one of the things I missed and the actual answer turns out to be a bit more complex than just going through and trying to find a subarray of, of sum 4. Well what we could do is calculate the prefix sums. Taking this for example, we could calculate the prefix sums and take the modulus p. Now I'll explain why we do this. So for example, we're taking the prefix sum, so we start with the zero, and then we have three, modulus six, which is three still. Then we have three plus one, four modulus, which is four. And then I have four plus four, which is eight modulus six, gives us two. And then we have, or well, we can do two plus two, which is four. Okay, so now we have the prefix sums, but all of them take in the modulus of p. We want to subtract from the total sum 4 plus p times some x factor. Well, because we've taken everything modulus p, we can forget about this part and focusing on getting uh, some of these prefix sums, uh, modulus p, to be equal to 4. I want to subtract some subarray from this array such that the total sum of 10 subtracted the sum of that subarray will give me a number modulus uh, a number divisible by p and i found that the sum of that subarray has to be 4 plus p times x but because we're dealing with we've already taken everything modulus p we don't need to worry about this part of the equation anymore and we only need to worry about each of these remainders find a previous number before that such that if I subtract current remainder from the previous remainder, it will give me a number that if I take that modulus p, it will give me 4. How do these, how does this uh, remainder maths work? Well, um, say my, the total remainder I need, I'm trying to get is equal to, to 4, and p in this case is equal to 6, and my current remainder, let's say I'm at, at 3 right now, is equal to 3. Since 3 is less than 4, you might think hey, it's not possible to subtract something from this 3 such that I get 4, because this is my target. What's actually possible in, in a modulus land, if I can subtract enough from this 3 such that if I add p to that later, I can get 4, then that's a valid answer. If I can subtract some number from this, let's say x, such that that plus p gives me 4, then that's a valid answer, and I want to actually find x. So 3 is the CR, and 
four is R, right? So re really what I'm doing is CR minus R plus P is equal to X. So X is what I'm searching for. Now there's the other case where, say for example, CR is equal to five. Now I actually want to subtract one from this, so I get four. So if this is X, the other possible X could be CR minus R. That's one. So I'm searching for one to subtract from CR. So if you had five minus one, it would give me four. This is only the case if CR is greater than R. Now greater than or equal to R. If it's equal, then X would be zero. And that would be the left end of the subarray. What would the min subarray be? You have the two remainders that are the same here, like this. And I go here. And let's say, for example, that uh, at two here, I'm, I'm searching for a three. Now let's forget about uh, these values so far. So yeah, two, I want to search for a three so I can get whatever remainder I want. Do I take this one or this one? Actually, I actually want to take this one because that will give me the small subarray. So I can have a map that maps these remainders to an index value. If I have duplicates, then I update the old one with the newer one because the newer one would have a greater index because I'm interested in that to give me small subarrays. Okay, so let's give this a go. So we need to calculate R. That only comes from summing up the whole subarray and taking the modulus. So we have an R go through the entire array, update r to be equal to r plus the current number modulus p. Let's also have an answer starting at int max. So that's, the, that's going to be the length of the final subarray. Since we can't remove the whole subarray, let's at the end, if answer is greater than or equal to the nums or size, that means we're trying to move more than the array or the whole array. So that means we actually can't remove anything. So let's do uh, return minus one. Otherwise return the answer. Now let's keep track of the current remainder, v zero, and go through the entire array again. The current remainder will be equal to the current remainder plus the, num the current number, modulus p. And I would need a map. So an ordered map would be good. That maps the remainder to the index. Let's call it uh, MRI. So it's mapping the remainder to the index. Um, I know that I eventually need to do MRI at the current remainder is equal to the index. Now, if MRI So now let's search for this value here. So we can say auto it is equal to mri dot find. I want to find this value here. So that's going to be cr minus r plus p. If it is not equal to the n, so I've actually found something, then say the answer is equal to the min of what the answer was originally, and i minus iterator second. What if this value was zero? If this value was zero, I don't need to subtract anything. The current subarray will do. The current subarray is as in it starts from the beginning to my current position. And that would have the index minus one in the prefix subarray. So I could say MRI at minus one, at uh, zero, having an index of minus one. So that will handle a case there. The other case is if CR is greater than equal to R, then I want to search for CR minus R. And it's exactly the same line here. If it does not equal to N, so if, if we found it, then update the answer. One other edge case we're missing is this algorithm doesn't handle the case of removing an empty subarray. We only need to remove an empty subarray if the total sum already is divisible by P. So if R is equal to zero, then return zero. Okay, so that's Give that a run. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Keep on grinding, believe in yourself, and uh, you'll get there. Cheers.